in this activity, we're going to be adding graphic design to some web pages. So we're going to be working with a couple of web pages that are about family mem families, uh, specifically about the Komatsu family. And this is what they currently look like. And we'll be making changes to them. We'll be learning some new CSS and HTML along the way. So we're going to be working in the folder Komatsu, Komatsu family. And so you want to be able to download and extract that folder, right? It's in a zip file, so you want to extract it so you have access to all of the files. And we're going to start in the komatsu.html file. Now, there are several style sheets in here, and they're in the styles folder. There's a reset style that's been prepared and a styles one that already has quite a bit of style in it. And then there's a visual one CSS file, and this is where we're going to be adding additional styles. So we want to add all three of those. So in the komatsu.html file, go ahead and add links that will link to those files. We add the href and we're in an HTML. So we need to go into the styles sheet styles folder. And then inside there, we'll add the TB underscore reset first and um, relationship equals style sheet. Okay, and we're going to need three of these and they're gonna be the same except for the file. So the file name on the second one will be TB styles one. The, on the third one will be TB visual one.css. So there's the three style sheets. And if we look at this, uh, Genta page doesn't make much difference here, so not much style has been added there. But if we look at the Komatsu family page and refresh it, we get quite a bit of style. So there's color, layout, background, uh, image, so we get quite a bit of style for that. And that is where we'll start. There are also some additional files. Uh, these are found in the zip file graphicdemo.zip. And once you download and unzip that, these have a whole bunch of HTML files. We will not be editing these, but these are ones that are gonna let you play with some of these graphic tools that we're going to be learning and what they mean. So it allows you to say, ooh, I wanna know what does it mean to do something with grayscale and, and what that means. And down here, it shows you what the CSS looks like. And up here, it shows you what the results are like. So this happens in here, um, hue rotate, you know, how many degrees, what happens when we rotate it and notice what that effect has. So the, all of these are, let you play with these different, different CSS files, um, CSS properties and play with them and see what effect they have. So those are available as well.